I want to show you my new deluxe air fryer with Pampered Chef. This is so much fun. I've been having so much fun with this. It will do air frying, baking, roasting, rotisserie, reheating, dehydrating, so many fun things. Those are the pre-programmed settings. Plus you can also just set it for custom also. But what I'm going to make for you today is french fries. And this is so much fun because the french fries are in a rotisserie basket, which is right here. So one of the ways we do this is we open up the rotisserie basket, put the french fries inside, and then set this in here. Take the two trays out, put the basket inside, close the door up, set it for rotisserie, and after it's all done, you retrieve it with this little tool here. That's to get it out so you don't burn your hands. So it's a really, really fun system to do this. Now, I love watching the Chef AJ videos on YouTube because I just think Chef AJ is amazing. She's a professional comedian. <laughs> she was on The Tonight Show. You can see that on, on YouTube too. But she says the best air fryer to get is the biggest one you can get. Well, mine is bigger than hers. I keep, I'm talking to the video saying, Chef AJ, you need to get the Pampered Chef air fryer because ours, ours is great. It has two, it comes with two trays and you can also buy an additional tray. Later on, they'll buy an additional, they'll have an additional tray because there's a third, tray, there's a third shelf down here. So you can make so much more with ours. With her air fryer that she has, it's, it's got a drawer and you have to put everything in it. She has to preheat hers to 400 degrees and she's burned herself. I don't have to preheat mine and I don't have to ha have a deep basket. This is really nice. It's got trays on it. The door comes off for easy cleaning. This tray comes out for easy cleaning. It is so nice. But let me show you how to make these french fries. You take your potatoes. These are just russet potatoes and you cut them up in strips. I have one more potato to do. You cut it in half and you lay it face down. Oh, let's, do, let's cut it again. Let's cut it again and then lay it face down. And then you cut it in strips like this. I've already done some of these potatoes. I'm gonna cut that part off, put that in the trash. And then we're gonna put these pieces of potato in our basket. We don't have to lay them in there we don't have to get them to fit just exactly right, like if, if it was a basket. And, and one of those air, air fryers that has a drawer that comes out, these just go right into this rotisserie basket. This is so much fun. You can do dehydrated, um, I mean, you can do um, air frying with mushrooms too. You can do mushrooms, you can do anything in here, but french fries are the most fun. And they are so good. Um, I don't eat any added oil on my food, but you can add oil to this. That's what the directions say to add oil, but I don't have any, I don't eat any additional oil. And I'm going to sprinkle it with some, this is a combination, equal parts of salt, garlic powder, and onion powder. And I'm going to sprinkle this in here. I'll put it over the sink here. This is just going to season them very nice. I can spr sprinkle this right through the basket. And I'll sprinkle a little bit more when they come out. I'll put this into here. It's not, not preheated, so I'm not going to burn myself. There, it's all in position. Close the door. Now, I want to tell you about this flour sugar shaker. I've had this for ages, ages and ages. And I have four of these, one with flour, one with sugar and cinnamon mixed up, and one with um, this combination of salt, onion, and garlic powder, and another one with powdered sugar. These are really nice, but the new ones are stainless steel, so they're much, much nicer. So that's this one, and of course our grooved cutting board doesn't slide around on the countertop, and it's got measure markings, and the other side has a nice well on it to catch the drippings of things. And we have our Santoku knives and our wonderful potato peelers. So these tools, Pampered Chef has the best tools ever. So we've got our potatoes in here. 
Now I'm going to push custom and I'm going to set this for 10 minutes right here, 10 minutes. And then I'm going to do this down to 325 degrees for 10 minutes and rotate. We want to turn the rotator on and the little circle sh shows up showing that it's rotating. These are going to, and I'll turn the light on so you can see in here that the basket is going around. I can see it rotating in there. So these french fries are going to first cook for, 20, for 10 minutes and then we're going to put it on air fry because air fry is 400 degrees. So while that's, while that's going, I'm going to show you some of the other recipes that you can make with this air fryer. This thing is so neat. We can do several, several pieces of toast at the same time on these two trays and you switch them over halfway through cooking. I like to make the toast on the air fry setting because it's 400 degrees and the air is blowing around to actually make, make it toast. So I like to do that. But you can also make cookies on here if you put parchment paper on it. Put parchment paper on it and then you can put cookie dough on here to bake cookies. So it's a toaster oven. So you can make it, a, you can use this as a toaster, as a toaster oven, as a rotisserie, let me show you some of these other things that you can make with this. That's the french fries. You can also make coconut shrimp. Doesn't that look yummy? You can make homemade beef jerky. Amazing. Just amazing. Because it's a food dehydrator also. And you can make homemade chicken tenders. This is with the air fry setting. These recipes all come with it. The crispy cod, that's on the roast setting. This is chicken parmesan, parmesan with the air fry setting. And the stromboli on the bake setting because it's, you can bake. And the Peruvian chicken on the rotisserie setting. Doesn't that just look wonderful? And there's hand pies on the bake setting. So this, this does air fry, bake, roast, rotisserie, reheat, and dehydrate. And you can also do just custom, custom cooking however you want to, if you want to just make it as a regular oven. Okay, this just told us that it ended, and this is still running a little bit so that it will cool down. It kind of cools itself down. The machine cools itself by the fan as it's still running. But these are finished now. We don't have to wait for this. It, it does this for about 30 seconds, but I'm going to go ahead and take this out. Here's the extractor tool. You lift it up, push it a little bit to the left to get the, to get the basket out. That is the top part. The top part protects the food from touching the coils, the heating coils on the top. So I'm going to set this down here, close the little door. Now to get this basket open, I use this tool, I'll show you this way, I use this tool to kind of pry, pry this open, then I don't have to touch it. And Pamper Chef has these nice little grips, they've also got some new medium sized grips and they're in gray now, this is, the, this is the original red ones, and the gray ones just kind of cover up your fingers. And um, the, that's the medium sized ones, but they're really, really handy, really, really nice. I always used to call these Mick Jagger lips, but <laughs> I, I think it's pretty fun. But these are the French fries. These are so good and tasty, and you can add, um, you can add salt to them, or you can sprinkle them with my seasoning of garlic and garlic powder, onion powder, and salt is a nice combination. So we're going to try these. Thank you.